a word of encouragement to all those who all those who are in the school of natural sciences and school of medicine um, first of all um, I know it can be very hard and it actually gets to your nerves especially school of medicine third and fourth year I've actually been through my most testing times in my fourth year but the key is to just stay persistent just work hard and work towards a goal and never never set your goal low always make sure you aim for the highest yeah and I know most of these schools come with a lot of pressure even before you go to that school um, a lot of uh, negativity so just make sure you start from zero and not start from the negatives um, guys my advice to you is first of all don't listen to the negativity that comes with the School of Natural Sciences it is very possible to get very good grades in the School of Natural Sciences there's no secret and the only key is working hard okay studying the right material as well I notice a lot of people do study um, unnecessary material yeah it's always important to study what the right material is and what is the right material basically what your lecturers give you don't um, don't go beyond what you're supposed to do and neither neither should you underwhelm yourself um, propose online learning I would say for me and uh, most of my classmates is not working we're fifth year medical students meaning fifth sixth seventh year is your clinical years in medicine does not really work we've been learning com skills and thanks to our lecturer madam mercy she's really been pushing it and going hard on on that so at least we're able to learn that but the rest of our clinical um, medical courses we're not really able to learn them and we're practically losing time Drew, i'm sending you this congratulation message for a wonderful achievement and truly have made us proud. I attended last year a graduation uh, in, uh, induction dinner and uh, I heard the graduates say this phrase, if it's not hard, then it's not medicine. Now, when you come to the study medicine, the biggest challenge is in the basic sciences. And these are the subjects of anatomy, physiology, microbiology, biochemistry. And this will form the foundation of how you proceed into the following years. And once you have achieved this, then you go into pathology and microbiology, and do pharmacology, neuroscience, and clinical skills. And once you have actually achieved all these things, then you are ready to get into the clinical years. And for you, Drew, you have actually shown and excelled that you're making us proud, that you have achieved a distinction in the Bachelor of Science, Human Biology, which rarely do we see distinctions. Now, a degree is not just a piece of paper. It's a recognition of hard work and the wings to fly in future. So many dreamers, but only few achievers. And you drew a one of those who has achieved the goal. You have been graduating with a distinction and may you continue to be strong and ready to face the challenges for further training in clinical years. And to the rest of the students, they should we emulating that it's not impossible to have a distinction in the basic medical sciences, in the degree of human biology. You have come this far, Drew, and there is no stopping now. Follow your passion and it will lead you to the fulfillment of your dreams. And I would like to appreciate even the academic staff who imparted into you all so that you'll be able to achieve all this. And I would like to congratulate them too, because your achievement is also our achievement. Congratulations once again, Ruth, and continue making us proud.